Hey everybody and welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. I'm Dennis Fields and today we're going to talk about how you can add a temperature gauge to your brew pot. I have the standard Bayou Classic stainless steel pot that came with one of my burners a long time ago. Right now it does not have a temperature gauge on it. So it's kind of difficult to check the temperature when I'm trying to heat up my sparge water. I either have to stick in a digital thermometer or use one of those longer stick ones. But that one doesn't quite reach the water volume that's in the bottom of the pot here when you're only having four and a half or five gallons in this pot. So I'm gonna show you how to easily put one of those things on your pot. After you hit that like and subscribe button, grab yourself a beer and we're gonna get after it. Also, if you find my videos helpful, consider buying me a beer. You can hit the link right up here or in the video description below. Everything helps, cheers. For those who are used to watching my videos, you'll see this kettle all the time. This is my gas one 10 gallon stainless steel pot. I love this thing, it's lasted a really long time and I'm as happy as I was the day that I bought it. This one comes with a temperature gauge already on it and it comes with the bulkhead that you need uh, to transfer your wort. Uh, it also has a thicker walled bottom, which I really, really like. It helps heat up and keep the consistent temperature on the bottom. As you're setting it on the ground or on your burner, it's less prone to dings and then therefore leaks. This thing is super inexpensive, and I'll tell you what, it's worth its weight in gold. Compared to other brew pots that can get up to four or $500, this one does the trick. But if you're looking to reuse a pot you already have, we're gonna go ahead and show you how you can drill some holes in there and add the equipment yourself. I'll have links to all of this in the video description below. So with the temperature gauge, you get the gauge itself. You have a stainless steel washer. You have four other washers, two rubber and two silicone, and then you have the nut that goes on the inside of your brew pot. Some pieces of equipment that you will need, some safety goggles, because, you know, safety first, a drill, a tape measure, a step drill bit, and what that means is that it steps down to the correct size that you need. In this case, we'll be drilling a hole that is three quarters of an inch wide. You'll need some Teflon tape to make sure there are no leaks. And then you'll need some wrenches or adjustable pliers in order to tighten everything down. So first things first, you don't just want to drill the hole anywhere in this brew pot. You want to make sure that you're drilling it at an appropriate level that it's high enough off the bottom that it gets away from the heat source a little bit and also low enough where you're still going to be within the volume of water or liquid that you're heating up once you get your volume in here. In this case, I use this pot primarily for my sparge water, which means that I'm only putting in about four and a half to five gallons max in this thing to heat up while my batch sparge process is doing its thing. So you may wanna fill up your pot about four or five gallons in order to see where your volume is to make sure that wherever you drill your hole that your temperature gauge will be fully submerged. So in my case here, I wanna measure up about five inches from the bottom inside of the pot. So I'm gonna measure about five and a quarter to make up for a little bit of this lip on the bottom. And then I'm gonna make a mark where I need to start drilling. I wanna measure this so it's kind of directly in between the two handles. So it looks nice and it's right underneath the logo here, but you can drill it wherever you need to. All right, with my little mark in place here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my step bit to drill my hole to three quarters of an inch. In each one of these little divots here, it's gonna tell me what the readings are and we don't wanna go past three quarters or my hole will be too big. So don't go quickly, just go slowly and make sure you get to three quarters of an inch. You may find out, like I just did, that you need to drill a little pilot hole to get things started. Also, a little oil or WD-40 could be applied in order to make sure that it's not getting, your drill bit's not getting too hot. Once your hole is drilled, you can clean it up a little bit with a file or one of these drill bit files. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing nice and clean so we make sure we get rid of all those metal shavings and sharp edges. All right, now that we got the hole all drilled, we're gonna go ahead and prep the thermometer to make sure it's all ready to put on the pot. 
So your thermometer comes with four gaskets here, two white silicone ones and then these red rubber ones. What we're gonna do is just take two of those and put them off to the side. We're only gonna need one red one and one clear silicone one, right? This one will go on the inside, this one's gonna go on the outside of the pot. Uh, first things first, we're going to make sure that we get our threads right here that is on the thermometer wrapped up with some Teflon tape. This is gonna make sure that none of the water or wort gets through the threading and leaks on the floor. I know they come with the rubber washers, but it's always a good idea to do this at any, any time. So two or three times around should be enough and it should look just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put on our metal washer first, slide that over carefully, don't wreck the Teflon tape, then followed by one of our red washers here. Again, just roll that on, make sure you don't get the Teflon tape out of the way. And now we're ready to put on our pot. Then we're gonna follow that up with the silicone washer on the inside, and then this nut that has the indentation for the washer on the other side. So this will fit just like this, and we'll screw it on on the inside of our pot like that. If it's a tight seal, you may need to screw that all the way on there, that's okay. Make sure when you're finished that it's upright the way you would like to read it on the outside. Then go ahead and thread on your silicone washer and your nut on the inside. Last but not least, make sure that you go ahead and tighten that nut down with some locking pliers or a wrench. And there we go, guys. We have a pot with a new temperature gauge on it. And all we have to do is fill it up with water, heat it up, make sure all the seals work and that it's not leaking. Also, we're gonna test the temperature calibration. If it is off, there is a little dial on the back that you can turn with a screwdriver that will uh, adjust the temperature correctly. It should come calibrated, but if it doesn't, you can always adjust it. I hope that was helpful. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. Happy brewing and cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. A way you can support the channel is just by buying me a beer. There's a button right there on the screen and there's a link in the video description below. You can also check out the Merchandise Center store and you can hit the video on the screen right now. You know you want to.